Phil Memphis in Finland here. I just wanted to take this short amount of time, or at least I hope it's a short amount of time by the time it's over, to wish everybody, 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 a happy new year. And I hope that you're being safe. My voice is a little crappy. I was just out socializing. Oh my God. Um, which is something that, that, that I'm pretty grateful for. Because for me, at least, 2023 was about building confidence, um, mostly out of necessity, but also because I needed to prove to myself that I can socialize. These the, these hindrances, you know, that that I've all that I always thought were insurmountable. You know, being on the spectrum, ADHD, uh, being socially awkward. You know, just like anything else in life, if you try and you keep trying, and you keep practicing, you get better at it. And it gets better, and it gets easier. And whether you're saving the things that you want to get easier in your own lives for you know January 1st, or whether you set these goals a long, long time ago, I hope you achieve them. Unless, of course, they're evil goals, and, you know, maybe don't do that. But, you know, for, for everybody else, I really hope you achieve them. I really hope we all make it. And it's a sentiment that has really grown in importance for me, making it. Um, this is going to be the year where I find myself living on my own for the first time. Uh, this will be the year that, if everything goes right, I will be finally starting my bachelor's degree. Um, this will be the year that, with, with, with any luck, I can just enter a social situation the way that I have been lately and just thrive. And I'm not even necessarily being the center of attention or having the gift of gab, but just, just being there, just experiencing it. Just like just now, I just came back from uh, watching an acoustic set at a pub, uh, like a little acoustic concert. It was, it was really nice. I didn't understand a lot of what the man was singing, but just, being with this group of people who are also enjoying themselves and being with a person who is enjoying themselves and, and, and seeing how much enjoyment that they were getting out of it and just, just you know, allowing myself to, to feel that and to just get lost in it. It's, it's really cool. For a person like me who's had no self-confidence, um, it's really cool that... I've made progress in that regard, because in a lot of ways, I thought 2023 was like a really wasted year because, you know, marriage ending, because all of these things come tumbling down and, you know, but with time, it gets a little easier. And, and all that fear that I have reserved in, in my head for being able to make it not completely on my own, but, you know, living on my own, I'm just... I'm really tired of being afraid, man. You know, I'm I'm really, really sick and tired. It's the same fear that stopped me from socializing, that, that stopped me from ever going out when somebody invited me somewhere. The same fear that's that 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 just kept me on my couch, you know, playing on the old Steam Deck. It's 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 the same fear that grows and intensifies when you're thinking about the future, like I have been so much. Um, but when you do all of that thinking, you're just, you're just feeding that fear, you know, and I'm equally as tired of thinking about the past, you know, the past five years of my life, I should have done this, I should have been studying more, I, I should have been learning this more, I, I, I should have been more adamant about making life easier for myself in the event that everything that I know and love around me or not everything, but, but everything that, that, that I hold safe, my safe zone, my, 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 you know, these four walls that surround me when all that goes away, what am I going to do for myself to be able to survive? And if there's anything I've learned over this past year, it's that if you're not thriving, if you're not succeeding in your own mind, if, 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 if you're not getting the things that you want out of life, 
don't be too hard on yourself because you survived another day. And you're going to survive another day tomorrow. You're going to survive another day after that. Just because you're not super productive and just because you're not in the right headspace and you haven't gotten there yet doesn't mean that you can't get there. And if I'm able to cobble together a life out of the ashes of what was my marriage, the ashes of what was my life, as pathetic as that sounds, my marriage was absolutely my life. If I am able to cobble something together, anybody can. Take it from this uh, on the spectrum, ADHD, um, you know, person. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, there's hope. There's hope for us all. As long as you keep moving your feet. There'll be days where you don't want to move your feet and that's okay. But as long as you resolve to keep moving those feet and to keep looking forward, what is there that you can't do? I mean, that sounded really fucking corny, but I hope you understand what I mean. There's hope and I hope we all make it. And in the face of everything happening in this world right now, I think progress and 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 setting our sights forward improving more important than ever more important than ever and for anybody who's ever come to this channel you know i the fact that i'm still making these videos after i deleted my original channel of 45,000 subscribers and, and all those videos and i'm still here and you're still here, and I'm so appreciative of that. And it's it 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 really is unbelievable sometimes. E even if I don't have the the same um, viewer base that I once had, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just enough that I'm still here. And you know what? I look at my newer videos, and I look back at my older videos, and even when I was at my at like the darkest points in my life here. 2020 2021 there's still like i see much more of, of, of like a glimmer in my eye i i, I hear a, a much less angry person and that's progress to me you know like for the past two months i haven't really been all that angry um i don't want to like single out one thing or one person for that but another thing is my heartburn has just vanished you know, I used to take a PPI every single day, but with this this new calm that has sort of come over me in a lot of ways, um, physically, I feel the physical changes. And when you can really feel it, not just, you know, in, 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 in a not so physical way, like a spiritual way, but also like in a physical way, you know, you know that you're you're doing something right. And when you know you're doing something right, that gives you confidence. And confidence is something that I've sorely lacked. Sorely lacked. So, I am hopeful. I choose to be hopeful. Even if things look really bleak, I choose to be hopeful because the alternative is doing the exact same shit that kept me stagnant, going nowhere. The same shit that got me to the situation that I'm kind of in right now that I'm trying to fix and remedy. I'll just go right back to that and I won't thrive. And worse than that, I won't survive. And I gotta survive. We all gotta survive. And I hope that we do. I'm fortunate. But I've said you know, that th this was supposed to be a short little happy new year and then i just went you know verbal diarrhea but hope maybe you can take something out of what i said uh or maybe not who knows happy new year i wish you all the best happy 2024 and as always have a good day folks